And you will never believe how it happened. So there's my dad, a busload of tourists cowering on a riverbank, half-starved lioness attacking them. He didn't have much choice but to take it on barehanded. For some people, being the new girl can be tough, even a little scary. But not me. I kind of see it as a chance to reinvent yourself. He was so focused on her, he didn't even notice the 20-foot crocodile slipping out of the water behind him. My dad didn't really die fighting wild animals in deepest Africa. He did, however, fly up to Cancun with his travel agent. It's all about making an impression. And I could tell I was making a good one. After the funeral, Mum and I decided to make a fresh start. So, here I am. Thanks, uh, for that, Alex. Now let's sit you next to... Samantha! You can help Alex settle in, OK? Yeah, it took some trial and error. Three schools in three years. But I finally got this first impression thing nailed. So, where do you hang out at lunchtime? With my friends. See ya. OK, so maybe I still needed some work. But I always land on my feet, because that's when I bumped into Josh. Oh, I am so sorry. Here. It's fine. Forget it. No, really, I am so embarrassed. It's my first day, and while well, everyone's been so nice and... Hey, it's cool. We know what it's like in a new place. That's why we're looking for you. You were? Yeah, to see if you wanted to hang out with me and the guys after school. To sort of get to know each other a bit, you know? Uh, sure. I'm not doing anything much. Sweet. We usually meet down the old factory complex. It'd be, uh, really great if you could make it. Yes, I knew Farrell was setting her up. But come on, I'd just been publicly carbonated. There wasn't a single reason to take pity on this tryhard. Except, of course, the Campbell factor. What? Well, we just have to uh, save her then, of course. Save her? Oh, give me a break, Kev. It's just a little initiation break. Look, I know Farrell's your friend, and you're trying to be cool and everything. But paint bombs? Can you imagine how humiliated she's going to be? A nice girl like that. <laughs> what? What? Like what? I mean, oh. <laughs> she seems. Team Trekkie finally gets hormones. Put it to the level. It's Trekker. And this isn't hormones. It's a simple question of humanity. Go on, do what you like. But I'm going to warn her. And if you've got a conscience at all, you'll help. Cam and I have been friends since pull-ups. He's like the geeky brother I almost turned into. So no way could I tell him I was coming along for his sake, not hers. See, I know Feral. And if he caught Cam wrecking his plan, the real simple question would be, burial or cremation? Uh, 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 OK, quick, how do we break this to her? How about, sorry, new girl, this whole thing's just a cruel trick to humiliate you in front of your peers. I wouldn't put it exactly like that. Well, how would you put it? I'll... I'll think of something. Think of something. Think of something. And don't blow it. She's new. She has no idea you're a geek. Chill. Fine. You're in a hunk. Campbell. Campbell Kelly. I suppose you're wondering why you're here. And why I'm here. <laughs> Welcome to the party, new girl! It's a trap! Run! Get him! Get him! Ah! 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 One yank on a dusty rope, I flushed all my peer group status down the toilet. I'd made a statement <sighs> and an enemy. So that's it. New town, new faces, same old story. I'm a dork. Are you all right? And I always will be. I wish the earth would just open up and swallow me. And then it did. Hello? Hello? I'm here to see my grandfather. Named? Smith. Randolph T. Oh. 
Oh, you must be Miss Fiona. Oh, I am sorry. Oh, your father didn't mention you visiting at the board meeting yesterday. In fact, I thought she was still at school in Europe. It burned accidentally. But enough about me. Now, are you going to help me find this old goat, or do I have to guess? Of course, Miss Smith. It's just through here. You, uh, you, you, you can't miss him. Give me your answer, Angel Fiona. Oh, my golly. Haven't you grown? Oh, come here and let your old grandpa have a look at you. Oh, Fiona. Seeing you makes me feel like I'm going to live forever. <laughs> toes. I can wiggle my toes. Fingers. I can wiggle my fingers. Ears. I can't wiggle my ears. Wait, I could never wiggle my ears. Is everyone OK? Oh, can't complain. Bruised, bleeding, trapped like a rat. Fine, really. Yourself? Hey, hey, guys. No one's really hurt. <sighs> Things could be worse. They're worse. This is my place. Get out now or die. Make me. You're just a little kid. I'm not little. Uh, did I say little? I meant uh, a big. You're lying. I hate that too. Wait. What's your name? I'm Alex. This is Josh, and that's Cameron. And you are? She always is dorky. We hardly know. Hey. Her. Right. You've had your chance. Just one thing. I think you're holding that back to. Did I tell you? Say <laughs> what? Ah! Ah! <laughs> Be dead. Who? Who are you? Children. I've been revived by children. Where are the authorities? The scientific team. Why is there no? Who are you? My name's Campbell, sir. Campbell Kelly. And this is Josh and Gretel and Alex. Camp? <laughs> you calling a machine, sir? Lighten up. I am not a machine. I am a memory. A recording of a man's mind, an electrostatic ghost stored in this glass and copper brain. However, when I walked and breathed, I was the one you all knew as the Silver Shadow. Mm, no. More information, please. The Silver Shadow? Crusader against injustice? Protector of the innocent? Waging a one-man battle against evil and villainy throughout the 1950s? Am I ringing any bells yet? You mean you're like a superhero? Oh, I prefer the term 
costumed crime fighter, but, uh, yes. And the fact that I've been activated can mean only one thing. My arch enemy, a criminal madman known as the Crab, has defeated me. And is now roaming the world unopposed even as we speak. Yes. It is good to see you. I've much to discuss. And there are many things to show you. That's fab. But I just remembered I've got to re-oil my hockey stick. So why don't I take you back inside? What? I can't move! It's a little toy I call my neural desequencer. You don't move unless I want you to. I've been keeping track of you, Fiona. I know all about your little flare-ups, the succession of schools, your problem child label. But I appreciate your gifts. And if you're ready to listen, I'll show you your legacy. <laughs> okay, Gramps. You've got my attention. But this better be good. No. I'm afraid it's very much the opposite. <laughs> I was created for a single purpose. To train a replacement for the Silver Shadow should he ever be defeated. The real Shadow was a scientific genius. Creator of the crime-fighting arsenal you see before you. Wireless communications. A laboratory. A high-speed vehicle capable of traveling by land or air. Even an armored power suit to lend him practically limitless strength and invulnerability. All vital tools in the Silver Shadow's campaign against evil in general. And the malevolent crab in particular. How much longer, Grandpa? Please, call me! The crab. I've waited a long time for this moment. Fifty years ago, I was one of the most feared men on Earth. <laughs> then, at the height of my powers, a meddler appeared. A sniveling, self-styled vigilante calling himself the Silver Shadow. I eradicated him, of course, but his cowardly sneak attacks took their toll. And our final battle left me crippled and in a coma for a decade. My heart bleeds. As did mine when I awoke to find my criminal network in tatters. Thanks to your parents. They'd taken a perfectly good evil empire and turned it into a chain of cosmetics companies. The rest, as they say, is hysteria. Crippled and helpless, I bided my time until finally a ray of hope you fiona the spark of evil burns bright in you what can i say it's a gift i'm an old man but i have plans vast breathtaking plans you could be the one to bring them to fruition what do you say? What's in it for me? <laughs> That's exactly the question I would have asked. <laughs> How about enough power to rule the world? Well, we can certainly start negotiations there. <laughs> this is no game. You may be society's only hope. Will you continue the fight against evil and injustice? Will you take on the legacy of the Silver Shadow? You can count on me. Hey, Eleven's a slow year. I'm in. Actually, I meant him. You're kidding, right? You know how busy I am? I've never been more serious in my entire simulated life. <laughs> this is nuts. <laughs> One minute I'm walking through an old factory, then some guy on a black and white TV tells me I'm going to save the world. <laughs> and with what? This rusty pile of junk? I mean, hello? Hey, check it out. <laughs> Beware, evildoers, for I am the Silver Shadow! <laughs> right, I'm out of here. Wait, I need help to battle the crap, and you clearly have the most potential. It's okay, Mr. Shadow. Us three can be a team. 
No, he's right. You don't look much like superhero material, and well, you're both girls. Hey! What's that supposed to mean? Forget it. Forget all this. It was a vain hope. The folly of a forgotten hero. In a moment, the elevator will return you to the surface. Please do not discuss what you have seen here. And turn the lights out as you go. Hey, that's not fair. And it's a completely sexist attitude. I do not have attitudes. Just programming. And in this case, my programming dictates a strategic withdrawal. <laughs> Couldn't you get yourself motorized? Oh, careful! I only kept your parents around because their enterprises turned to profit, and I needed the cash for some secret projects of my own, like this. There's something in here I want you to wear. Sheets, towels, old people nappies. Okay. If it isn't my ex-friend, Josh. How's it going, traitor? she done nothing to you. I was... Grab him! Ah. <laughs> Time for a taste of your own medicine. What? What's going on? An attack in progress, just outside. Josh. What should we do? I doubt you could be of assistance in this situation. How about you ditch the attitude and pretend to be helpful for once? Yeah, he's our friend. We've got to help. All right. Use this. <laughs> Friends deserted you, eh? What a shame. Guess we're gonna have to get them tomorrow. Say, ah, Josh. Go. What? Who are you? Call us the Silver Shadow uh, Squad. And? Ah. Uh, what a bunch of losers. Get them! <laughs> Campbell. Oh. Okay, stupid squad. Oh, yeah. Who wants to be unmasked first? Edie. Uh. Meaty. Uh. Miney. Uh. Mo. Catcher. Uh. Doofus. By the pot. Shut up. Can you hear me? The guys are in trouble. What do I do? Uh, Josh. It is gratifying to hear your voice again. Now, deployment in the field is a three-stage procedure. One, press the red button. Two, step into the compartment. Hey, what's number three? Improvise. Thing as a as a threat just now. <laughs> uh, Shadow, about this superhero thing. We're in. Excellent, Josh. Your improvisatory skills proved quite impressive. I trust you found the exoskeleton effective. Are you kidding? Bulletproof, super powered, air conditioned. I feel like I could take on anything. 
This suit represents the latest in super miniaturized nanotechnology. It augments your strength and speed and renders you practically invulnerable. It'd take a smart bomb to stop you. <gasps> Very smart bomb. Any questions? Yeah, does it come in blue? Because I just bought these great shoes and it goes so uh, well. You four have reached a point from which there is no turning back. From now on, you will lead double lives. Ordinary students above ground, masked crime fighters below. Are you prepared to take on the legacy of the Silver Shadow? Then raise your right hands. Do you swear to fight evil and wrongdoing throughout the world? To preserve justice? To subvert justice. To uphold evil. And not rest until society is free from the curse of crime and villainy. And not rest until the very fabric of society lies in flaming tatters at my feet. I do. I do. I do. This marks the first step in my grand plan. Today, the city. Tomorrow, the world. At least. I am never going to get used to this. We're superheroes. We're going to save the world. The four of us. We're a team. Secret club. Yeah, totally secret. So nothing to arouse suspicion. Like hanging at school or being seen with each other. Right? Of course. That'd just be dumb. I said having a story could be useful. Well, now I've got the best story of my life. And not a word of it exaggerated. But even if I could tell it, there's no kid in the world who'd believe me.